Okay, in this video, we're going to look at the radius, the lateral of the two lower arm bones. Here's the ulna we just described. This is the radius. If you look at this radius, again, this is from the right side of the body, and an easy way to identify this is if you look at the distal end of the radius, it too has a styloid process, just as we saw on the ulna bone. You have a smooth surface here on the anterior of the radius, and a styloid on the lateral right. If you were to turn this over, there are three sharp ridges you find on the posterior. So that, that would help you to identify right from left. These have to be on the posterior, smooth surface has to be on the anterior, with the styloid process on the lateral right, and or lateral left if it was a left radius. If we look up here at the head of the radius, this is the namesake. It looks like a radial disc. No other bone will have a structure like this or look like this. Just distal to the radial head, you have the radial tuberosity. This is where the biceps brachii group of muscles will insert, allowing you to flex the arm at the elbow. As we look at the radius, we can see how it fits with the ulna. The radial head in the radial notch, the ulnar head in the ulnar notch of the radius. And the two would articulate with each other just as you see here. If I can set these down, and try and put them in position on the bench and then bring the humerus in. The ulna will articulate with the distal humerus and the radius will articulate with the distal humerus at the trochlea and the capitulum, sort of in this fashion.